Hello and welcome to our messy open the book this week and we continue our story about Paul. If you remember last week he was caught in an earthquake and then this week he's going to be shipwrecked and that's the name of our story that Anne is going to read for us from our storyteller bible. Paul is shipwrecked and we're going to make a craft scene and we're also going to sing a song so sit back and enjoy. So today we're going to attempt to make a scene from Paul's ship getting shipwrecked uh, during our story and we're going to start off by making some sea. Now we need a big wavy sea so I found some blue paper. Now as we often say if you haven't got blue paper you can colour it and C isn't always blue, in fact it only looks blue because the sky and the sun shine on it and make it look a nice blue. So you might want to use some grey paper or some white paper for the big waves or some green paper or even some black paper because when C is really churned up and it's a cloudy day then the sea can often look a very dark almost black colour so choose whatever colour you want or colour it different shades of sea and then I need you to cut it so you've got some strips like that don't cut it all the way to the end I've left a little strip along there and then you get a blunt knife or a ruler just a knife that you might eat your food with nothing sharp about it uh, or a ruler and you can run the knife's edge along a piece of paper like that and can you see what happens the sea starts to look the paper starts to look like waves i'm going to do another one let's see if i can get an even tighter one this time i've got to be there we go there we go i've got to be a bit careful because especially when you're using thin paper you don't want to rip the paper but you can see how the waves are forming through me curling the paper so you hold the back of the paper and you run it along something hard and smooth a very simple edge there and can you see how our paper is beginning to look like waves there. now I've got another one that I made earlier and I've made a green one and if I put my blue one on there can you see they can churn up and they can mix together and it can begin to look like a choppy choppy sea there there's my my blue and my green all churning up together waves on an ocean. Now I'm going to put that to one side for now because what I want to do is make my boat. Now for this you need another piece of paper. Again you could colour it, boat coloured. I found a yellow piece of paper and I thought that might look like a, a light wood that boats might be made out of. And I folded it in half. Can you see? Then I'm going to fold it in half again. So it's in quarters. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to make a triangle down the middle there like that to the middle fold. And the same on the other side like that there I think I might just need to fold that one in a little bit more there we are right so then you've got this two flappy bits there that's going to go up yeah and I'm going to fold that in there and that in there and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold that one up I'm going to fold in because I don't want it looking like a hat I'm going to fold in the side there 
and the side there. So I'm left with a triangle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. The other day it sort of wants to bend that way anyway. I'm going to fold it into a little square. This is called origami because we're folding paper to make it into a special shape. So you might have tried this before, but it's always good fun to do. I fold, it's getting quite hard now because there's lots of folds on my paper. Make sure that they're, they're folded down. I folded one of those up there and then I turn it over and I fold another one up there. So there we are. I have what looks like three triangles and then you want to do it one more time you want to it wants to open up so you want to open it there yeah it's getting really stiff now and then you want to pull the two top corners out and make it nice and flat now you can probably see from the side that it's starting to look boat shape so if we just open the bottom very slightly to give it something to stand on then we have a boat there oh i don't think i've opened the bottom quite enough there there we go there. there's our ship to go on our water so i'll bring back my rocky sea there and I can put my boat on my very, very wavy sea that's going to cause my boat to be a shipwreck. There you are, a scene from our story made all in paper and using origami. Give it a go and see what your scene can look like. You could add lots of things to it. You could add a flag or you could add some people. You could draw what you wanted and you could have lots of different coloured waves. See how dramatic your shipwreck can look. Our story today is Paul is shipwrecked. City after city, mile after mile, year after year. Paul travelled far and wide, facing every kind of danger, just so that people could hear about Jesus. Was Paul worried? Not at all. In every city he visited, he left behind a little church, a group of people who wanted to live like Jesus. But then Paul went to Jerusalem, and that's where he ran into big trouble. The religious leaders didn't like it when Paul said Jesus was the special one God had promised. The religious leaders were very angry when he said that Jesus had really come back from the dead. And at last, the religious leaders arrested him and beat him. Some people even wanted to kill him. But in the end, he was put in chains and sent to Rome to go on trial before the emperor himself. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew that God had said Paul would go to Rome and tell people about Jesus there. And now he was on his way. Paul was put on a ship with other prisoners. And at first the journey went well. But then the wind changed and the ship slowed down. And by the time it reached Crete, it was running quite late. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew that it wasn't a good time of year to sail and that if the ship stayed in Crete, everything would be all right. And that's what he told the men in charge. But they didn't want to wait. So off they sailed across the choppy sea. It didn't take long for Paul's warning to come true. A hurricane blew up. And the boat was blown across the sea like a toy. Toy. The sailors did everything they could. They dropped anchor. They threw cargo overboard. They held the battered boat together with ropes. But the storm went on and on and on. 
until all the food had run out and it looked like everyone was going to die. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew God would keep him safe. Calmly he stood there and spoke to the others. I had a visit last night from an angel, he told them. And he told me that we would get to Rome safely. The ship will be destroyed, run aground on an island, but we will survive. And that's just what happened. The ship was wrecked off the island of Malta. At first the soldiers and sailors thought only of themselves, but com Paul convinced the men in charge that the angel's promise will come true if everyone stuck together. That's what they did, and everyone was saved. The people who lived on the island took care of the castaways, and after three months, they joined another ship sailing to Rome. In that big city, Paul had to stay in a house until the trial. So while he waited, he told everyone who visited him about Jesus. Was Paul worried about what would happen to him? Not at all. Instead, he was busy, busy writing letters to all those little churches that he had started all over the world. And in one letter he wrote, Don't be worried, just be thankful and tell God what you need. Jesus will give you the peace of God and that will help you face anything. So our song today is nothing really to do with shipwrecks, but it is about recognising that Jesus is king and that Jesus is in charge and that actually the whole of creation is dependent on Jesus, as Paul knew. And that's why Paul did what he felt he needed to do, what God was asking him to do, because he recognised that Jesus was king and he put his trust in him. So let's sing a song and it's called Who's the King of the Jungle? You might know this one, lots of action. Who's the King of the Jungle? Where we find monkeys and apes in the jungle. So we're going to do a bit of an ooh, ooh, ooh. Who's the King of the Sea? Maybe some bubble, 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 bubble. Who's the King of the Universe? And who's the King of me? And every time we say King, we can do a crown as well. Are you ready? There's a little bit of an introduction. We sing it through twice, so you can always join in the second time. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's wonderful story of Paul as he travels to Rome and he puts his trust in God through all the things that happen to him and that can seem really difficult at times when we are going through really difficult and challenging times but those words that Paul wrote to that church all those years ago are really good to hang on to do not be worried be thankful and tell God what you need. 
And so let's just take a moment of quiet. And we too can pray. Dear Lord, help us not to be worried. Help us to be thankful. And may Christ bring us peace.